Hey, Grace Rossi, welcome back to the Daily Devotion. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys are having a good week. Hope you guys are having a great start to this 2022. Today we're going to be talking about give it your all. And today our scripture is going to come from Psalm 90, verse 17, which says, Let the favor of the Lord our God be upon us. Establish his, us in his work, for our hands establish the work of our hands. My challenge to you is to be zealous in your work. Begin to think in terms of being a producer rather than just a consumer. Don't give excuses for giving less than your best in your work. If your work, if, if you work hard only when you know your boss is looking, you've got an attitude problem about your work. Remember that you are working for the Lord and not just the man. Working for the Lord means working with integrity and being honest. When Zacchaeus came to Christ, he paid back the people that he stolen from fourfold, as it tells us in Luke 19, verse 8. He became a man of integrity and honesty in his work. And of course, make sure that you're witness for Christ in your work. People should know you are a Christian. I don't necessarily mean stop working so you can witness. I mean the both of your words and your outstanding work habits, you give witness that you belong to Christ and that you're working for the kingdom. Here's something to really think about in this subject. What steps can you take to commit your work to the Lord? So now let's just go against the grain. Look at against the grain and the grain of heaven's tree. Revelation 22 verse 14 says, Blessed are those who wash their robes so that they may have the right to the tree of life and that they may enter the city by the gates. If William Tyndall hadn't gone against the grain, we might be reading the Bible in Latin. If Galileo hadn't, we still might be believed that the world was flat. If Rosa Parks, if Susan B. Anthony. But if God, in love, hadn't have sent Jesus, his sinless son, as a perfect sacrifice for our sins, we wouldn't have forgiveness, hope, or the tree of life. Originally, God created the, head, the tree of life in Eden, as it tells us in Genesis 2, verse 9. And at the top of the tree, we read about heaven's tree of life. Revelation 22, verse 14. From Eden's perfect paradise to heaven's perfect paradise, with a lot of sin between, from a tree of life to the tree of life with a cross-shaped tree of death in the middle of it all. With faith in Jesus and a life-giving tree in the middle, we turn our backs upon the sin of Eden and the sins that try to drag us down today and every day. Instead, we walk in eternal life as our Heavenly Father cuts us against the grain with unending grace in the name of Jesus. So here's some cross-cut thoughts for you to think about. Consider reading John 3, 16, John 14, 1 through 6, and Romans 5, 6 through 8, and also Romans 6, 1 through 8. Alongside these devotions and these scriptures, praying that the Holy Spirit will teach you and grow your faith as you read and study. You may want to highlight them on your, on your device or even in your Bible or print them out so that there will be good keeping and put them on your refrigerator so that you can ponder and think about them and meditate on these passages. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Our Heavenly Father, you are the, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Keep my faith and keep our faith focused on Jesus. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you guys. And I'll see you next time.